So today we've got a very unique problem or a Honda Accord that some would think but it's actually not a unique problem um, and uh, we're going to show you how to fix that and the issue is um, the drive belt over here and then, um, at first the customer had an issue where the belt was popping off and then later he got it put back on and then next thing you know the belt popped off again but not only did the belt pop off the tensioner bolt broke okay see that down there the bolt that holds the tensioner in yeah well that's broke so you see the tensioner bolt down there so that's broke right there and that tensioner bolt is the one bolt that actually holds the tensioner into position so it'll work properly now there's another bolt down there at the very bottom but that's just um, for the shock part of it but as far as the pivot point for the tensioner that's what that one bolt does right there. And that had broke off into the bracket that holds the um, alternator, not the alternator, the um, AC compressor on. So, obviously this is a problem that has occurred before because Honda, guess what, has that bracket available that you can get. And then of course you can also get that tensioner assembly as well. Now that tensioner assembly has um, two pulleys on it and like an actual little shock absorber and some other stuff but um, I'll show you that in a minute the first thing we're going to get this thing out and show you how to do that so first step you want to do before starting this job is to take your battery loose um, some people will be like oh take one side loose I like to take both sides loose and also um, it's a good time if you want to go ahead and charge your battery up that way you got a nice strong battery if you got a battery charger but you want to disconnect it because once you get up here and start working on the alternator and the other wire and stuff, you don't want to, you know, shock yourself or ground anything out and, you know, mess up your electrical system. So just go ahead and disconnect your battery just to be on the safe side. You can remove this cover. I'm right, so going to take a flathead screwdriver and take that out. All right. Then the next thing you want to do is remove your um, coolant reservoir as well as your radiator cooling fan. And... Um, those two out of the way and then we'll see, we'll see that you can see. Let's see if I can get some more light on it too. Now to take the fan out there's two bolts at the bottom that you'll need to loosen up. You don't necessarily have to take those all the way out. Just loosen them and that way there's one there one on each side and then that way when you get the bolts from the top and you can easily um, You can easily just lift it up and slide it out of the way. And yeah, like I said, you don't have to take these out of the way out. So we'll need to get a wrench to get that right there. This bolt there, and one there. And once you take those loose, then you can slide that fan up, provided you got the top bolts loose and out. Move the alternator. You'll have a bolt here you'll need to take out. And there's one bolt at the bottom of the bracket that you'll need to take out. And of course, disconnect your wiring harness here. And you'll disconnect your wiring harness there. And there, that's a uh, 13 millimeter. That's a 10. That was a 12 there. 12, 10, 13. And the one down there at the bottom is a 14. And then this one, you pull the little um, cover back. Pull that cover back. And you'll squeeze right there and just slide that out. And that removes the alternator. All right. But so that you don't, so that you can get the alternator out, you'll need to remove this fan. Which will take this bolt out, that bolt out. At the bottom, there'll be four more, two more, 10 millimeter bolts. The ones at the bottom, you just need to just need to loosen those, and that way you can slide the fan up. And of course, you'll need to disconnect your electrical connection. So we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll focus on our AC compressor. I've got the fan lifted up out of the way, and as you can see, that gives you a lot more space. And now with those bolts removed from the alternator, we can lift it up out of the way. It sits in a little bracket down there, so with the fan out of the way, you can use it. And actually, you can do it one-handed if you want to pull that up out of the way. I'm going to set that off to the side there. Now you have your AC compressor, which is going to have four bolts down there. Um, 
holds it to the bracket. Okay. And um, once you get that out of the way, um, then you'll be able to remove the bracket. Let's see if I get some more light down there for you. Okay, so then when we get down to the AC compressor, you've got um, four bolts, two at the top, two at the bottom. In order to take it off, we're going to get those off and then we'll have access to the bracket. And there's one of the bolts there. You have the other one there. And those are 12 millimeter bolts. Alright, so move the bolts to the bottom. In the top, and then you can pull the AC compressor forward off of the bracket. Alright, so once you get your AC AC compressor pulled forward, then you have access to your bracket. And that's the bracket there. Um, there'll be mounting bolts that mount that bracket to the block. There's one there, one on the bottom. Move the compressor out of the way. Put a little light on it. There's one there, and there's another one at the bottom. So I think it's four particular bolts on this one from what I can see. Pull those out, and then that bracket will come up out of there. I guess I'll move this so you can get a better view, because that is really hard from my angle of view. And, um, all right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the bracket down there. All right, so we'll get this stuff out of the way, then we'll I'll pull the bracket off, and I'll show you what it looks like. So move the bolts to the bottom and the top and then you can pull the AC compressor forward off of the bracket. Alright, so once you get your AC, bra AC compressor pulled forward, then you have access to your bracket. And that's the bracket there. Um, there'll be mounting bolts that mount that bracket to the block. There's one there, one on the bottom. Move the compressor out of the way. Put a little light on it. There's one there, and there's another one at the bottom. So I think it's four particular bolts on this one, from what I can see. Pull those out, and then that bracket will come up out of there. I guess I'll move this so you can get a better view, because that is really hard from my angle of view. And, um, all right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the bracket down there. All right, so we'll get this stuff out of the way. Then we'll I'll pull the bracket off and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have the old one out. We got the new one here. We had to order this from Honda because you can't go to the auto parts store and get this particular bracket. You know, it's only made for Hondas, so it doesn't make sense for them to carry that. But um, one thing you want to do is compare it, the new one to the old one. Make sure all your bolt holes are right. And an uh, interesting thing that the guy, the Honda guy, uh, the parts guy told me he was like man make sure that it matches up because if it don't well make sure it matches up before you tear this green bag that the part comes in if you tear the bag then of course you they said you can't return your money return and get your money back but if you don't tear the bag and it's not the right thing then you can return it just a little helpful tidbit hit there but this is the right one um, so and like I was saying earlier the problem is this bolt hole here all right that is stuck in there, not to mention, it's broke on the tensioner. So, there's your new tensioner, your new part. Comes with the bolt already in there, comes with the new shock, um, and the two pulleys. So we'll get that together, get that in there, and uh, assembly is reverse of disassembly. Uh, just make sure you torque everything down tight the way it was. and. Um, it should be good to go and that should solve your problem. So, like I said, 
these this piece here that shock sometimes that'll wear out and either put too much pressure on there or not enough pressure on there um, sometimes these pulleys themselves will wear out like look at that you see how that's just shaking right there that's worn out see how that's shaking that's worn out too so the whole assembly is worn out and i guess they figured that out by the time you know when they redesigned the piece so you know some people will be like oh yeah i can just replace this right here or they'll just try to replace that right there well it's all made together one particular piece so just go ahead and get a new one and put it together that is an expensive part though but you know either way um it's cheaper than the whole car so if you don't put it in there then of course you can't drive the car all right so any questions or comments please subscribe chat and um share this with the world i'm going to put this back in the car now um but i wanted to give you a just a overview of what this thing looked like and as you can see there inside the car it's supposed to be something like that and then this shock puts, puts makes this thing pivot here to keep tension on the belt but if that bolt breaks I and mean, that's just over time metal fatigue this is like 2010 this car is what 10 years old now so yeah all right any questions or comments please post in chat i'm not going to film and put this together it looks like we've got some bad weather coming up i want to go ahead and get this done so i can get home it's friday night y'all all right yeah. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching.